All right, back on A Young Turks. Uh, now we're going to talk to Gustavo Rivera. He's a candidate for the New York State Senate. Now, we're a national show, so it's very rare that we'd be talking to someone running for state senate. Uh, but there's good reason here. Uh, it's partly, of course, of, because of who Gustavo is, but it's also because of who his opponent is, honestly. First, Gustavo, welcome to the Young Turks. Absolutely. It's great to be here, my friend. All right. Now, you got to, before we get to, to your background, let's come on, let's have a fun conversation about your opponent. Who is it? His name is Pedro Espada. Uh, he is a state senator uh, in the Bronx, although he doesn't live in the Bronx. Uh, he is. Um, the guy who flipped to the Republican Party last year after, for about a month after we worked for a decade to take over the majority in the state Senate. Uh, he's a guy who has a health care clinic in the South Bronx and stole something like $14 million from it. Uh, you know, he's, he is, he's the perfect example of everything that is wrong with, uh, with Albany right now and the New York State, and that's where we need to get him out of there. So I, I'm just kind of blown away that he's still in the race. Uh, our is he unaffected by these massive charges against him? I, I think, you know, the, the guy, I mean, I, I've met people that have known him for, you know, for decades. And, they, and although they've always said that he's always been a creep, they said he's gotten a little bit more delusional as time has gone on. So it, in, in his case, I think, in all honesty, brother, I think it's hubris. Uh, he's, he's never, he is a smart man, but he, he has really gotten to the point where he believes his own uh, you know, he, he just thinks that he is untouchable by all this stuff. And, and that's precisely why we're going to beat him and, and why the voters in the district actually have a recognition of it. That's the great part. Now, we had done a story on him before, and the, the, all this money gets funneled back to his family where mm -hmm. he's pretending that it's for charity. And it's just, and sometimes his campaign, et cetera, et cetera. T tell us the sushi story real quick. Well, he, uh, as part of his, uh, of the massive amount of money that he stole, uh, part of it, and this is the great part, he does not deny this. Now, he has a house in Mamaroneck, which is in West Chester County, which is not in the district, not anywhere near the district. And uh, he is, uh, they found a, uh, a series of bills which amount to $20,000 worth of sushi that went to his house in Mamaroneck. Now, I'm, I'm originally from Puerto Rico. I, if I add up every single plate of rice and beans that I ever ate in my life, it does not add up to $20,000. So... <laughs> Twenty thousand dollars of sushi, and wait, who did he charge that to? He no, he char he charged that. I mean, he paid for it with money that was funneled from the healthcare clinic, which is actually money that belongs to the people of the state of New York. So, so it's supposed know. to go to uh, the the people who need healthcare in a clinic Correct. in the Bronx. Instead, it's mm -hmm. spent on sushi for him and, and his family who don't live anywhere exactly. near the Bronx while pretending to represent the Bronx. It's unbelievable. It, so, but I think you got it right, and this is. And, and just for you folks out there, there is nowhere, this is not April 1st, this is not April Fool's, this is a guy who actually exists, and who actually, we're, I mean, we're going to beat him on September 14th, but he actually exists as a real guy. So, Gustavo, you're in a Democratic primary with him, right? That's correct. Okay. Now, uh, how, you, how are you doing? Because I'm, I'm curious. I mean, has this resonated with the people in the Bronx? Do you have any I think polling? That, I think we're... We're doing excellent uh, all around. I mean, this is not going to be easy. I'll state that up front. But we have been doing really well and picking up a lot of steam. We've been talking to – now, I've been talking to voters ever since we started this campaign, and there is a recognition across the board from north to south, uh, anywhere in the district, that the guy needs to go. Uh, we, we filed our petition signatures in New York. There's a, uh, you, there's a process where you have to get petition signatures from registered Democrats. Uh, we need 1,000. We handed in 6,200. Uh, we received the endorsement of local elected officials of, of uh, the Working Families Party here in New York State. Uh, I mean, we, we've picked up a lot of steam over the last couple of weeks, particularly because, again, this guy, there is, there is a basic disconnect from this guy to the people in the community. He has, he has failed the people here. They recognize it. They know that their needs are not being addressed, uh, and they're not being represented. So I think that not only in the political you know, scheme of things, we're doing well, but also in, in the district, every time that we go out here, my neighbors that I talk to every day, they have a recognition of it. They need change. They want it, and they recognize that, this, that we provide that opportunity. And, you know, I, a, part of the reason we did that story earlier and we're talking to you is because I'm just amazed by the bubble that people in power live in. And they just think, you know, hey, sure, of course I spent 20000 on sushi that was supposed to go to the poor. What difference does it make? I'm, I'm blown away by it. But p part of the race, of course, is about you. And mm -hmm. you've got a certain degree, of, honestly, of credibility because of who you work for. So tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about that. 
Well, I've been I've been in New York for about ten years, and during that time, I've been I've been both an educator. I actually taught at the college level, uh, at private and, and, and public colleges, but I've also worked for elected officials, from city council up to the the Senate uh, the Senate conference. Um, I've I've done a lot of local stuff, uh, including uh, uh, Bronx uh, field director for Fernando Ferrer when he won in, when he when he ran in '05 against Michael Bloomberg. Uh, I was actually one of the state directors in Obama for, uh, for in Florida in 2008 after working for about six months with SEIU for Obama in a couple of different states. I was uh, a director of outreach for Senator Kirsten Gillibrand for about a year before I, before I left that job and resigned to, be, to, to dedicate myself full-time to this campaign. But the core of my work really was in the Democratic Conference in the State Senate here in New York, which, again, for a very long time was controlled by Republicans because of gerrymandering, etc., and we worked really hard to make sure that we would get to the majority. Uh, so I, I worked for, uh, you know, for a bunch of the folks that actually came. For we went from seven seats down in 2000 to now leading it by by, by one seat. But that's the that's the problem is that our majority is so close that uh, you know that that uh, we can't. We, that's why we need a guy like Espada to be out of there because. Well, that's he, the seat you're running for. That's the seat that Pedro Espada flipped over to the Republicans and then flipped back. Mm -hmm depending on who was giving him more money. Let's keep it real. But, exactly. <laughs> but, by the way, you mentioned SEIU in there. You're in a lot of trouble. That was on Glenn Beck's uh, blackboard. Uh-oh. Uh oh, uh, oh am, I, am I in trouble with Glenn Beck? <laughs> oh, I feel so horrible about that. Oh, sorry, Glenny, sorry. <laughs> All right. Now, you said you worked for Obama in Florida. Uh, uh, do I have it correct that uh, you're the reason he won Florida? I, I certainly don't want to take credit for that. I think the volunteers in Florida and the voters of Florida are the ones that, that can take credit for that. But I certainly, I certainly did a lot of work down there. <laughs> We're talking to Gustavo Rivera. He's a candidate for the New York State Senate. He's running against Pedro Espada, who's a comically corrupt uh, character in New York. Uh, and finally, it's, you, know, you, were, you, you mentioned you were born in, and actually raised in Puerto Rico, and then you came to New yep. York later. Uh, you know, I don't know this question. That's why I wanted to ask you. Can you let's say things go swimmingly and you you know work up the the ladder in politics? Uh, can you run for president or no? Uh, yes, I mean it's a, this is definitely a, an issue that would take a whole show to talk about. But people that are born in Puerto Rico are born citizens. Where it's a territory of the United States. So when you're born in Puerto Rico, you're born a citizen. So I certainly could become president. And should non-Latino people pronounce it Puerto Rico or should they pronounce it Puerto Rico? If if you can roll the R's, brother, roll. Go with Puerto Rico. That's uh, you know, it depends. Okay. It depends on how you can do it. Okay, I, I can't do it that well, so I should probably stick with Puerto Rico. All right, <laughs> Gustavo Rivera. Uh, I I don't know if I should or shouldn't say this. We're an opinion show. Why not? Good luck in New York. Thank you, sir. A little luck and a lot of work. That's what'll get it done. All right. Oh, and go good. to our website, GustavoForStateSenate.com. For those of you that are interested in this race, uh, good Democrats and progressives all over, the, all over the country need to pay attention to this race. Gustavo for State Senate dot com. That makes sense. All right. Thank you, Gustavo. Thank you, brother. Have a good one. All right. You too. All right. Uh, I can't get over Pedro Espada, man. I mean, it was a really long story. All the way that he, all the different ways that he took that health clinic money. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Put, put the poor right out. That's a good one. And funneled it all to his family. He's unreal, man. And he's like, and now he's running again. Like, what? 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 Is there a problem? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's that guy.